What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're doing well. Gonna go over our friend Ethereum. Currently sitting at 1263, down 4% on the day. We're seeing a market cap of 152 billion. 24 hour volume, 14.27 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to BitKit, sign up and earn up to $8,000 deposit bonus. This is the exchange I trade on. Email me your sign up email if you make your first deposit. I'll give you free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members. No VPN required for my US traders. All right, so we're gonna hop into Ethereum. Looks like we may be seeing a bear trap. As you can see here, we've sold off. We started to push back up. Just remain cautious, wait for the hourly to close, and we'll have to see what happens here. So the bearish count is at three into a four. We've broken down. Any break below the three, can complete the wave five so do keep that in mind but right now what i'm looking at is a one two and then coming down in a three four five and your wave three targets down here at one one two six however if we do start to come up and break 1303 then the higher probability is that the wave five is already in and you're going to see it that relief bounce to the upside that we've been looking for on the channel doesn't mean that it's promised but it's definitely possible all right, guys, so as you can see, we have come down into a wave two pullback zone. This is a really bullish wave count, a wave one to the upside, a regular ABC correction, and looking to push up into a wave three. There are two very bearish patterns to watch. As you can see, this head and shoulders, we've broken down from a bear flag. Um, but depending on how we close the day here, right now the bulls are pushing the price right back up. So if you see a daily close where the bulls push the price all the way back up, then what you have is what's called a bottoming tail. As you can see right here, bottoming tail. And that can signal a, a bottom and a nice push back to the upside. Not always. As you can see right here, we had a bottoming tail and then we pushed a little bit, we came down again. Right here, we had a bottoming tail. We pushed back to the upside right here. Bottoming tail, pushed back to the upside. But right here, bottoming tail, small push, and then continuation to the downside. So you do still have to respect the trend. Um, but if you do see key levels of resistance starting to be broken, that's when you could potentially see a reversal back to the upside. But do just watch these bearish patterns. Two bearish patterns we've broken down from already for our friend Ethereum. Um, so in the short term here, just see if we can come up and break this high of about 1305 would invalidate this as a wave two pullback here could signify that um, the five wave move is already complete and you are going to see that push to the upside where you'd look at a kind of a short wave five being complete here and then seeing a push but if we do continue to come down then what i'm looking at is a wave one down this was a wave two pullback and then we come down in three four five to bring you down to about let me quickly measure that larger wave five so what you do take your trend based of extension from the top of your wave two top of your wave two bottom of wave three top of wave four you're looking for a 618 extension here for a wave five it looks like we've already almost reached it okay so it's coming in at about 1151 for a wave five but looking at our smaller wave count if this is a one into a two then you might see a little bit of an extended wave five all right guys so basically what you want to watch is to see if ethereum can come up and break about 1301 then i think you'd have a higher likelihood of pushing back up into this pattern if you do push back up into this pattern then higher likelihood you will see that breakout to the upside but if you fail to break those levels you start to roll over then do expect 1126 as your next target for eth bitcoin has pushed wow bitcoin's pushed right back up we talked about potential bear trap i said if we can get back above 18.6 that's when we can see a bear trap and right now we're pushing up quite nicely so if we have an hourly close of above 18.6k that's when you could see a bear trap and once again push back up to this level of resistance about 20.4k especially if we also break this down sloping trend line once again that would be another strong signal of a push to the upside so that's it for this one sign up to bitget grab up to eighteen eight thousand dollars in bonuses and i'll give you free access to my discord of over two thousand members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto and at the ten dollar membership you can get early access to my analysis as well as i post news and my trade signals for 10 bucks a month but absolutely free access to over two thousand members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto email me your sign up email Email me your BitGit sign-up email. If you make your first deposit, I'll send you a link for free access to the Discord community. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.